Welcome back to Locker Hooking with Teresa. In this video, you are going to learn how to make this beautiful trivet with an inset tile piece. And the first thing you need to do is uh, to basically prepare your canvas. And we are going to do that by folding over the required amount of squares according to the pattern. So in this case, it's three squares. And you, what you want to do is fold along one of the rows to create a really nice firm edge. And you do that all the way around your canvas. Three squares, press down on the fourth row to create a really nice firm edge. Three squares, press along the fourth row and do that on all edges and there you have your folded canvas. The next step is to frame your canvas and you're going to want to take a strip of fabric that's about two yards, a yard and a half long and you're going to take your tapestry needle, thread your fabric strip through the eye of the needle and you're going to whip stitch the edges and you can start somewhere in the center, it doesn't really matter. But the key is to start wrapping the very edge of the canvas and go from one square to the next and you leave a little tail like that and then you try and catch that little tail and wrap it around to hide it. Not entirely essential, but it's just a neat trick to hide it away immediately. And then you're going to want to continue to whip stitch around the edge, working your needle through each square at the very edge to wrap and frame your canvas. And you will keep doing this until you have a completely framed in canvas. Okay, and now we're going to pick one up that's already been framed, and this is what your finished frame piece looks like. Um, this is the reverse side where you have the folded edges, and this is the front, and it's nicely framed. So now we get to start locker hooking. We'll take the locker hook, and you're going to want to choose a locking medium. I'm going to choose some of this dark yarn, the black, and you want about two yards worth of that and you're going to thread the locking medium, your yarn, through the needle eye of the locker hook. And you are going to take your fabric strip. In this case, we're going to choose this color. And you can start anywhere along the edge. I usually start in the center. So we are going to now, working from the top, take your locker hook and move it through at the very edge through one of the mesh squares and you pull up from behind a loop. Use your left hand to guide the fabric strip behind the canvas as you move forward. And you want about a quarter inch in height. That's really important because you're going to need that height later when you're finishing your project. And so you move through, use your left hand to get the fabric hooked pull through a loop, give it a tug so that you have consistent height, you want about a quarter inch on there, and then you keep moving along the edge through the next square, pull up a loop, give it a tug, next square, pull up a loop, give it a tug, and you proceed to do this till you have about five or six loops or more on your hook, and they're all consistent height, and then you pull your locking medium through and you lock them in place. And you're going to want to leave a tail on your locking medium. If you feel you might tug that through, you may want to tie it to your canvas so you don't tug it all the way through. And you keep working along the edge this way, pulling up loops. And when you have enough loops on your hook, pulling the locking medium through to lock them in place. And you continue working along the edge this way until you have filled your canvas and you follow your pattern. And it takes a little bit of practice, but once um, you've hooked several loops, you can get a nice consistent height on there, nice texture. So when you're done locker hooking your piece, it's going to look a little like this. 
And you're going to have tails in the back from having uh, added different colors or different strips and your locking medium tails are going to be in the front. And so the next step is to hide those tails so you have a nicely finished piece. And the best way to do that is to use your tapestry needle or your locker hook. Um, you can use either one. If you're using the locker hook, you work through the front to the back, figure out where the tail is, and position your locker hook next to where the tail is, but not in the same hole. You do not want to undo your work. And you pull it up through the front, and there's you, there you have your tail. Uh, you keep doing that with every single tail until they're all on the front side of your design. And then the next step, once you've pulled them all up, is to hide the tail. And to do that is you take your locker hook or the tapestry needle and from about four or five loops in front of where the tail is poking through, you work the end of the hook, the needle eye end, to where that tail is, thread it through, wriggle it through those loops, and then take your craft scissors and cut it close to that edge. And you do the same thing, you repeat the process with your locking medium, about five stitches away, work through the loops, thread them through the needle eye, thread the locking medium, pull it through, take your craft scissors and clip it close to that loop edge. And so when you've finished hiding all of your tails, you'll end up with a finished piece that looks like this. No tails, it's all nicely finished, everything is hidden, and re it's ready now for that beautiful piece of tile to go in the center. And um, I highly recommend that you use a, a strong uh, waterproof uh, permanent adhesive, and I found this really great uh, glue. It's fast drying, it's permanent, and it's waterproof, and it doesn't have that really strong chemical aroma that requires a lot of ventilation. It's really the best stuff that I found on the market. So you would apply that to the tile, and you just need to do a little bit around the edges. This is really strong adhesive, and it will dry fast, and you kind of want it to get just a tiny bit sticky before you put it down and protect your surface. And then you would just work it in and press it in place. And uh, use your fingers to pull out the loops so that they don't stay wedged underneath. And you press it down and it dries very quickly and you'll have a beautiful trivet with a nice piece of tile set in the center. <laughs>